Hi, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Richard Blumenstein. I'm 35 years old. I live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I teach at ITT Technical. Um, we're sitting in my office right now where I do most of my um, digital work. Um, originally, I'm a small town uh, kid. Grew up in uh, Medford, Wisconsin. And my senior year, 80% of my classes were art. I didn't know what I wanted to do after high school, so I started working at a local window and door factory. Um, I came home one day and I took off my shoes and tossed my hat on the couch and I sat down on the, the recliner and I was going to take my afternoon nap. And about five minutes later, my dad comes home and he does the exact same thing. I'm 19 years old and I'm sitting there looking at... Um, I'm looking at my father and I'm thinking, oh my God, I've just turned into him. And, you know, my father's a great guy, but, you know, bad back, you know, labor all, all day long. And he just didn't feel like he got anywhere with his life. So I called up my art teacher and short story. In three weeks, I was enrolled in my ed um, for drawing. So I was in my ed for for about a year um, in the drawing program and I loved it. It was absolutely great and what happened was I started talking to a guy who worked from Disney and he was slightly disgruntled um, but he was telling me about a guy they paid to fill your bucket next to your desk with ice water and what happened is when your hand cramped up from drawing, you put your hand in the ice water bucket and numb it so you can continue to draw. And I just looked at that and I just did not want to do that. I couldn't think of anything else to do with my life with a drawing degree, so I transferred to illustration. Um, I worked there, uh, w went another year for illustration, and I talked to a lot of illustrators in that time, and they said, yeah, well, five to ten years later, you'll finally make your dues and you'll get a job. And I didn't want to wait five to ten years. So I started looking around for options and I transferred to Ray Vogue um, for computer animation. Um, in the middle of that summer, I actually went to the military um, and became a combat engineer for college scholarship money. Um, I graduated with my bachelor's degree um, from Ray Vogue and I got a job a couple weeks later. Uh, unfortunately, the job basically said, we can't hold you because the economy is bad. And I went through about six jobs in four months, and I was debating what to do, so I started my own business. I worked at my business for five, five years. Um, I was doing well with it, and just kind of getting kind of sick of the whole process of the accounting, the marketing, and everything like that. And ITT called me and asked me if I'd like to come teach. So I started, decided why not. So I started there and I was an adjunct teacher, started teaching part time, and um, it was fun, it was exciting. And they basically came to me and said, Hey, um, we'd love to have you full time, but you need a master's degree. So I went for my first master's degree in uh, education. I went there for education and it basically was um, a real painful quick degree. I got it in a year and three months and I I went as fast as hard as I could just to just to get through it. So I got the degree, I got the full-time job, um, became the full-time game instructor for ITT at Green Bay. Uh, we originally started out with Torque and Torque was, for any of you, any of you that have experienced that, uh, was a process. Um, and then I worked with Unreal. Um, currently we're working with Unity right now and pretty much doing that type of thing. Um, I enjoy drawing, I still enjoy painting, movies, comics, all that stuff. Um, my educational goal is to finish the degree. Um, right now though, uh, career goal, I kind of have a couple possibilities. I'm not really sure I want to teach for the rest of my life so I'm either going to work for a game company or I'm going to start a game company. Uh, right now I am working on a couple different games with an individual uh, who's programming for me and basically we're working on, on our several 
several games. So that's what I'm doing in my spare time right now. Um, it's been nice talking to you, and I hope you guys have a nice day.